Beck. And then Brock entered the transfer portal. He's going to be playing in the SEC for Kentucky next year. Stockton on first down. As he gets it to Edwards this time, and Edwards already past midfield and still going down, breaking through weak arm tackles as he continues downfield. Finally, Hussey, the true freshman safety, makes the tackle. And that was a pretty athletic throw there by Stockton that time because he's got Patrick Payton and his long arms right in front of him. Kind of a jump pass. You know, it's not the most accurate throw. Really nice catch by Edwards, and he's able to turn that thing north but you're already seeing the athleticism of Stockton here on this first drive of the second half 28 yards from Edwards gets it out quickly to Bell and Bell muscles ahead for three yards before he is spun down by Byron Turner but getting back to the conversation about Brock Vandegrift so Stockton elevates to number two yep. and he's a natural leader type and he's bought into the master plan of hey let me stick around see what happens with Carson Beck and how things play out possibly could take the reins in 2025 there's the thing too. remember Dominic Rayola the number one quarterback in high school was committed or they thought was coming to Georgia and he flipped last second to Nebraska so I mean, just with that alone Stockton could find himself in a position next year if something were to happen to Beck they need him Stockton Whew. high but caught Roseby Jack Saint at six foot two man Stocks the catch there. Yeah, very lucky on this slant throw because Shaheen Brown should have picked this thing off. That ball was thrown high. Brown didn't locate it. It goes just over top and sails over Brown's hands. And how about the catch radius from Rosamy Jackson, who played his high school football just down the street at St. Thomas Aquinas? That's a powerhouse program here in South Florida. Ash Jones catches a seam and Jones is down to the seven yard line. They've got so many good running backs. It's really an embarrassment of riches for them because it's not just Melton and it's not just Edwards, but Roderick Robinson and Andrew Paul, young guys and Cash Jones, who's sort of a, a change of pace guy, a little smaller, really good in the pass game. Of course, forced to fumble on a kickoff in the first half of this game, too. They've just recruited so much ability at these skill positions. Jones remains in, gets the work here, patiently looks for a block, reaches ahead. It'll be third and short. He's six foot, about 180 pounds, but the, anybody in the program will tell you he's one of the fastest and pound for pound strongest players on the team. And he's a guy who's extremely versatile as well. As you see, Kendall Milton has already done a lot of good work. Kirby Smart's got to be happy with how they've been able to run the football. This has been a good opening drive with Gunnar Stockton at the helm here with the, the first team offense. Saw Kendall Milton looking on. Nine rushes for 104 yards and two touchdowns for Milton today. Third down and one. Jones. It's going to be first and goal as Georgia looks to add to their monstrous lead. Well, the tempo has changed certainly for Mike Bobo here. He's got his offense huddling, taking their time a little bit. They've got obviously a huge lead here in the second half, so you're just going to milk it. Big substitution. It looks like Dejan Edwards, Dejan Edwards is coming back in now and some big bodies as well. Some extra beef coming in, Joe, on the offensive line. See big Micah Morris, the six foot six, 330 pounder who is often lined up in the backfield in their goal line personnel looks. And you will see him there as the fullback in the I formation. Edwards right behind Micah Morris. You got the road grader paving the way and Dejan Edwards has his second touchdown of the day. Morris gets the big lead block at fullback. The guy I've been impressed with blocking in this game has been Oscar Delp, Joe. We've seen him a couple times. That time working against Gilbert Edmond, the transfer from South Carolina. He's able to pin that inside. We've seen Oscar Delp make some plays catching the ball in this one, but it's been really good in line at the point of attack. That's a very good sign for Georgia's future if Oscar Delp keeps on blossoming into that role that Brock Bowers played. Do it all tight end. They got Lawson Lucky, who's an outstanding looking freshman, as well as Woodring adds the extra point, and Georgia adds to their lead. They take the second half kickoff. They drive 10 plays, and it's 49 to 3 in the Capital One Orange Bowl.